aluminium hydroxide, Al, OH, 3, archaically called hydrate of alumina or aluminic hydrate, is found in nature as the mineral gypsite and its three, much more rare polymorphs, barite, doylite and nordstrandite. Closely related are aluminium oxide hydroxide, Alo, OH, and aluminium oxide, Al2O3, differing only by loss of water. These compounds together are the major components of the aluminium or bauxite. Freshly precipitated aluminium hydroxide forms gels, which is the basis for application of aluminium salts as flocculants in water purification. This gel crystallizes with time. Aluminium hydroxide gels can be dehydrated to form an amorphous aluminium hydroxide powder, which is readily soluble in acids. Aluminium hydroxide powder which has been heated to an elevated temperature under carefully controlled conditions is known as activated alumina and is used as a desiccant, an adsorbent, in gas purification, as a clause catalyst support, water purification, and an adsorbent for the catalyst during the manufacture of polyethylene by the sclertec process. Nomenclature the naming for the different forms of aluminium hydroxide is ambiguous and there is no universal standard. All four polymorphisms have a chemical composition of aluminium hydroxide. Gypsite is also known as hydrogelite, named after the Greek words for water and clay. The first compound named hydrogelite was thought to be aluminium hydroxide, but was later found to be aluminium phosphate. Despite this, both gypsite and hydrogelite are used to refer to the same polymorphism of aluminium hydroxide, with gypsite used most commonly in the United States and hydrogelite used more often in Europe. In 1930 it was referred to as I plus or minus aluminic hydrate to contrast it with barite which was called I squared aluminic hydrate. In 1957 a symposium on aluminum nomenclature attempted to develop a universal standard, resulting in gypsite being designated I cubed Al, OH, 3 and barite becoming I plus or minus Al, OH, 3 and Nordstrandite being designated Al, OH, 3. Based on their crystallographic properties, a suggested nomenclature and designation is for gypsite to be I plus or minus Al, OH, 3, barite to be designated I squared Al, OH, 3 and both Nordstrandite and Doylite are designated Al, OH, 3. Under this designation, the I plus or minus and I squared prefixes refer to hexagonal, close-packed structures and altered or dehydrated polymorphisms respectively, with no differentiation between Nordstrandiate and Doylite. Properties, Gypsite has a typical metal hydroxide structure with hydrogen bonds. It is built up of double layers of hydroxyl groups with aluminium ions occupying two-thirds of the octahedral holes between the two layers. Aluminium hydroxide is amphotric. It dissolves in acid, forming, Al, H2O, 6, 3 plus or its hydrolysis products. It also dissolves in strong alkali, forming, Al, OH, 4, A. Polymorphism, four polymorphs of aluminium hydroxide exist, all based on the common combination of one aluminium atom and three hydroxide molecules into different crystalline arrangements that determine the appearance and properties of the compound. The four combinations are, gypsite, barite, nordstrandite, doylite, all polymorphs are composed of octahedral layers of aluminium hydroxide molecules with the aluminium atom in the center and the hydroxyl groups on the sides, with hydrogen bonds holding the layers together. The polymorphisms vary in how the layers stack together, with the arrangements of the molecules and layers determined by the acidity, presence of ions and the surface of the minerals the substance forms on. Under most conditions gypsite is the most chemically stable form of aluminium hydroxide. All forms of Al, OH, 3 crystals are hexagonal. Production Virtually all the aluminium hydroxide used commercially is manufactured by the Bayer process which involves dissolving bauxite in sodium hydroxide at temperatures up to 270 degrees Celsius. The remaining solids, which is a red mud, is separated and aluminium oxide is precipitated from the remaining solution. This red mud is damaging to the environment and highly toxic. It is usually stored in large artificial lakes. This is what led to the Orsia alumina plant accident in 2010 in Hungary, killing nine people and injuring 122. 
the dam holding back the red mud burst allowing it to contaminate large areas of land and waterways. The aluminium oxide that is produced can be converted to aluminium hydroxide through reaction with water. Uses, annual production is some 100 million tons, over 90% of which is converted to aluminium oxide that is used in the manufacture of aluminium metal. The major other uses of aluminium hydroxide is as a feedstock for the manufacture of other aluminium compounds, specialty colcinde aluminas, aluminium sulfate, polyaluminium chloride, aluminium chloride, zeolites, sodium aluminate, activated alumina, aluminium nitrate. Fire retardant, aluminium hydroxide also finds use as a fire retardant filler for polymer applications in a similar way to magnesium hydroxide and mixtures of huntite and hydromagnesite. It decomposes at about 180 degrees Celsius, absorbing a considerable amount of heat in the process and giving off water vapor. In addition to behaving as a fire retardant, it is very effective as a smoke suppressant in a wide range of polymers, most especially in polyesters, acrylics, ethylene vinyl acetate, epoxies, PVC and rubber. Pharmaceutical, this compound is used as an antacid under names such as alocap, aladrox, gaviscon or pepsmar. The hydroxide reacts with excess acid in the stomach, reducing its acidity. This decrease of acidity of the contents of the stomach may in turn help to relieve the symptoms of ulcers, heartburn or dyspepsia. It can also cause constipation and is therefore often used with magnesium hydroxide or magnesium carbonate, which have counterbalancing laxative effects. This compound is also used to control phosphate levels in the blood of people suffering from kidney failure. Precipitated aluminium hydroxide is included as an adjuvant in some vaccines. One of the well-known brands of aluminium hydroxide adjuvant is Alidrogol, made by Brentag. Since it absorbs protein well, it also functions to stabilize vaccines by preventing the proteins in the vaccine from precipitating or sticking to the walls of the container during storage. Aluminium hydroxide is often miscalled alum even by researchers. However, alum properly refers to aluminium potassium sulfate. The aluminium hydroxide causes adsorption of antigens made of proteins, which slows the release of the antigen from the injection site, as well as causing a nonspecific irritation to the immune system. Vaccine formulations containing aluminium hydroxide stimulates the immune system by inducing the release of uric acid, an immunological danger signal. This strongly attracts certain types of monocytes which differentiate into dendritic cells. The dendritic cells pick up the antigen, carry it to lymph nodes, and stimulate T cells and B cells. It appears to contribute to induction of a good Th2 response, so is useful for immunizing against pathogens that are blocked by antibodies. However, it has little capacity to stimulate cellular immune responses, important for protection against many pathogens, nor is it useful when the antigen is peptide based. Potential adverse effects in the 1960s and 1970s it was speculated that aluminium was related to various neurological disorders including Alzheimer's disease. Since then, multiple epidemiological studies have found no connection between exposure to aluminium and neurological disorders. The pathological persistence of aluminium hydroxide used in some vaccines has also been associated with macrophagic myofasciitis, a rare muscle disease. References External links, International Chemical Safety Card 0373, Some Properties of Aluminum Hydroxide Precipitated in the Presence of Clays, Soil Research Institute, R.C. Turner, Department of Agriculture, Ottawa, Effect of Aging on Properties of Polynuclear Hydroxyaluminum Cations, A Second Species of Polynuclear Hydroxyaluminum Cation, Its Formation and Some of Its Properties.